now coming to the most important question which as a student everyone would have before getting into the course as well as after getting into the course that what kind of careers uh, do students get into after uh, finishing the course or at least uh, what are the profile names uh i would start by saying that if you do not know german mm mm-hmm. you are a little limited okay. on the automotive side mm mm-hmm. okay uh now especially after the pandemic the market is quite wide open mm-hmm. everybody is hiring so english jobs are also available mm-hmm. things were a little different back in the past so i i cannot comment on the future exactly how it will happen but i see kame not just kame people but in general everyha akhan is the brand that gets you through mm-hmm. it's not your course okay so don't don't think of it like that mm-hmm. you know, they, they see your university and they know that okay this guy has done a bunch of thing which is similar to my job description okay uh, so that brand will get you through in different kind of industries it could be uh, consumer electronics which i am working for energy related industry that abhishek is working for uh Th- uh, there are people who work for thermal nuclear power plants um, solar energy wind energy um even automotive so there are a lot of people who do the internship and uh, thesis at porsche mm-hmm. bmw uh, audi mercedes and all that i'm just telling you all these names because then you get hooked into the video yeah. uh, so th- just don't lose hope it's just that you also should work on a german a bit okay that will definitely make it much easier for you to go yeah. or if you are a lady also because they also emphasize on the female candidates a lot these days that can also give you an edge my next question would be what exactly does the class composition looks like okay i'll answer you for this one so for example if we have kame <laughs> so it doesn't work that kame has a classroom and the teachers would come in and teach you it doesn't work like that way so you have to opt for subjects so in which you if you opt for a subject like say fem that there would be a big lecture hall and there would be different people from different courses coming to take that course because they also want to study fem and as far as compared to kame i think maximum crowd is indian okay mm-hmm. uh, i would say at least 70 to 80% mm-hmm. uh are indians at least um but there are few other people like few from china few from spain and few from neighboring countries as well from europe and uh, one or two might be from us as well but generally the class composition looks like this but in in practical when you go to the lecture hall you would see a lot of people from different courses because the main thing is no german would study an english taught course Yeah. they are bound to go to the german taught course so you don't expect any mm-hmm. german people into kame that's not possible it won't make sense for them to, to study in they have studied throughout their life in german why would they opt for english so that's why you don't have a lot of people in your kame course but when you go and attend lectures in the halls you would see a lot of people around okay. you coming to the most important question uh, for those who want to apply in future to this course is that what exactly is the cgpa requirement to get into this course uh, there's no defined criteria for mm-hmm. cgpa i would say but um, definitely if you are into 6 uh, or 7s i don't know i cannot say it very clearly but you need to have a little good cgpa i would say if you are 8.5 mm-hmm. you have good chances of getting into this course Okay. Do you know anyone who got uh, into this course with the CGPA less than seven, but with three or f- four years of work experience? Uh, there I, would I be. Know. There would be, but I don't know anyone. The the, the thing is, mm-hmm. um, let's say from IITs, the students that come from IITs, mm-hmm. they don't have a very high CGPA. Yes. Mm-hmm. Compared to let's say somebody like KK who gets ten CGPAs in semesters. Mm-hmm. so i think it is it's a comparison and it's an evaluation based on a lot of factors uh, don't get disheartened if you have a lower cgpa you can mm-hmm. still go for the application um but if you're from a private although in germany you don't 
see that the universities have very clear distinction between Indian universities. Yes. They don't really have the same knowledge as, let's say, the US evaluators. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But still, their first priority would be CGPA and 8.5 and below, I would see as a red flag for them also. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of students I see from unknown universities in India. Yeah. And they have really high CGPAs and they get through easily. So yeah. if, if you are one of those students who feel that my university is not that well known in India, but I have a great CGPA, you'll get through. Exactly. Get through. This is one thing which I also found out in Germany that if you want to get into Germany, you don't need to go to IITs or big universities. Yes. Just go into yes. random university. And if yeah. you are the topper in that university, more or less you are going to get into any some of the universities in Germany. Yeah, best universities in Germany. <laughs> so that is one loophole which I think uh, it's persisting in Germany wherein they don't differentiate between an IIT, MIT or any other local university. Yes. Yeah. Not yeah. Why do you have such high dropout rates? This mm-hmm. is the reason. Because a lot of people start here, mm-hmm. let's say in Kame, they feel, uh, yeah, we'll do it. At, at the end of two years, they know for sure that they cannot, there's a lot of depression, winter depression and all that. And they finally go back with so much amount of money and time invested. I contemplated also mm-hmm. for a really long time that I should go back. Keep that in mind. Don't make a decision just because your peers are going through this. This is not a very easy thing also you're going to be away from your parents your family your friends you're making a lot of sacrifice yeah. make sure that's worth it yeah okay. it also depends upon the application pool for that year mm-hmm. for example if you have thousand applications for this course and everyone is a seven pointer mm-hmm. so they don't have any option yeah. it depends upon the application pool as well for example one of my friend mm-hmm. who applied along with me got rejection he had a cgp of 8.3 he got a rejection he worked for one more year he applied next year maybe that time the pool wasn't that strong mm-hmm. so he got acceptance into that course okay. so it varies every year yeah so uh, coming to the last question of this uh, session i would like to know if you know what does the university provide with respect to co-curricular activities are there something like formula teams in the university or how is how does it look like this avenue there are a lot of clubs mm-hmm. and co-curricular activities you can take. You definitely have a formula team and all different kind of okay. areas or aspects you can think of. It's available. But the course is so strong and so difficult that you don't have enough time to put that into the course. So you don't expect that to thing to put in the these clubs and the extracurricular activities. We are coming to the end of this session. Thank you, Kamath, for having us. Mm-hmm. It was great talking to you as always i think uh, it, it has been some time that we lost connect but we again reestablished it thanks to your endeavors um and yes it's for everybody is who's who's watching this video i would say all the best for your future for your applications if you have any questions just He's just know one thing mm-hmm. yes w- watch the videos watch his all his other videos like share and subscribe to his channel but make sure that you also do some amount of research mm-hmm. before you contact some other people because that's one thing that annoys everybody who's here on the other side of it it, it i know it's kind of you you are in a panic situation you don't know exactly where to go I got a lot of help from Abhishek. So I'm pretty sure you can also contact just your peer group. Somebody has more information than you and otherwise you can educate somebody else. So make sure you develop into all those things. For me, I, I would also like to thank you, Kiran, for inviting me for this wonderful session here. If there would be anyone else who would be approaching me for this, I would have said no. but. We know you from a very long time and yeah, it's just a normal conversation happening, no burden. So that's why it's it went very easy and very smoothly. And for the applicants or the people who are looking for details regarding this course or any course or any type of studies in Germany, you can look for 
these resources because this guy is making content for you guys and he's helping out to provide all the details which he can it's not easy to do this but you're getting all this information without any efforts you just have to open a video just listen to a conversation you'll get insights and experiences of that person i would like to thank you very much for taking your time in between your busy schedules to talk about your course and tell what exactly happens in this course to the students who are looking for this information to all the people who are watching this please like this uh, video share this video yeah, with the please, students please. who are looking for similar kind of information and subscribe to the channel if you feel that this information has helped you in any manner so that it motivates us to make more videos uh, in this aspect yeah if mm -hmm. you stayed until the end of this video there's a bonus arkan is very close to the netherlands <laughs> <laughs> See you guys with this information we end this session thank you very much bye yeah bye bye, bye.